All right, can I, here it is. Oh wow, it's so light. So I am on this ridiculous rooftop in New York City having played the Nintendo Switch Lite for about a half hour. And I gotta say, going into this event, I was most curious about who exactly is this for? I mean, it's not for me, I already own a Switch. So where does this make sense? Who is the audience for this? And it occurred to me, maybe this is the best sort of complimentary addition to a family that already has a Switch, right? You don't necessarily need two of those when you can buy one that's a little cheaper and is more focused primarily on being a portable console. So much lighter than I thought it would be. And you know what, like my biggest worry off the bat was that the screen was gonna be too small, but it doesn't feel like it's too small. And man, I already want this D-pad on the Switch I currently have. It's got a really interesting, like, kind of like, it's not a shiny or smooth plastic, but it's got a bit of grit to it, which is really satisfying. When I first started playing, I didn't really see a difference that much in fidelity, and the whole worry about small text on screen really wasn't an issue. I will say, the more I did get to play games like Zelda Breath of the Wild, I noticed I was sort of clamping down and sort of getting handcuffed a little bit, just because of how much smaller this is compared to the original Switch, but it's definitely something I would get used to over a given period of time. You know, playing a, an action game like this as opposed to Mario Kart, you're really gripping this Something thing a lot like, more like sort of aggressively. I have kind of large hands and wrapping my hands around it, you definitely kind of like, you know, it, it's not claustrophobic, but it definitely feels a little different than what I'm used to, but I can't say that it's necessarily bad. It just is probably something you'd have, I'd have to get used to. It's light, it feels good in your hand. That D-pad is fantastic, and I really wish there was some sort of option for that on the original Switch. Now, comparing it to the original Switch, you really notice right away how much bigger the screen is compared after you've played the Switch Lite for an extended period of time. There's definitely a notice of a difference there. And the original Switch, it feels a bit more bulky, and it feels a bit heavier, and just sort of sturdier in a way that maybe this Switch Lite doesn't necessarily have. But at the same time, you know, this is definitely something that feels more than just a portable console. The original Switch is a home console at all. And, you know, with that in mind, when I look at the Switch Lite, I do see sort of a successor to the 3DS. The Switch Lite is the commuter's console. It definitely feels like something you would have no problem keeping in your bag and not really worrying about it. And after some time playing with this, yeah, this could be a console that I would maybe buy for my four-year-old. You know, it doesn't have a lot of the moving parts like the Joy-Con uh, attachments, and it feels like maybe this is something I would entrust in the hands of a small child, and maybe not so much the larger Switch. It's a little bit cheaper, maybe it makes more sense. So again, who is this for? Well, it's someone who wants access to that amazing Switch library, but not at that initial investment that you have to make in the original Switch. It definitely surprised me when I first picked this up. I didn't really think it was gonna be super comfortable, but I won't lie, it just fits real perfectly in your hands. And it makes you feel like this is the actual spiritual successor to the Nintendo 3DS. Let's be honest, this is the commuter's console. The D-pad is fantastic. I'd have no problem leaving it in my bag all day. It fits perfectly in your hands. It's not too bulky on the go. Perfect for that ride into work. And let's be honest, those three colors are actually really impressive. Oh, this works real nice. Oh, that breeze. Fall, where are you?